Hey guys, it's Willie's and Makeup. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a really quick video on some information about the dermal piercing that I have. Um, I before I got the piercing, I was looking for a few informational videos on YouTube that I wasn't really able to find. So I just figured out I I just figured I would make one for you guys to help. I mean, um. So, I got this person about a month ago, which was on my birthday, the 23rd of January. I live in New York, so <clears throat> the person ran me about $40. I would say they go from $40 to $50. And um, it was not painful at all. And when you go to the piercer, make sure that they have experience doing dermals because you just don't want to go to anybody. Because sometimes your face might reject the piercing or whatever the case might be. So I was able to see um, the person's work, the previous work that they did, the dermals. So I just went with that piercer. So it came out really good. Before I got the piercing done, the lady actually squeezed my cheek to kind of numb it. So I wasn't able to feel the needle at all. I didn't feel anything. I'm like, oh my god, it's done. That's so easy. Okay, so, but, okay, so when you first get the piercing, no one tells you, but you get a bruise on your face. And it just sounds weird, but you get a bruise on your face. So I had the bruise on my face for like about <coughs> three weeks. <coughs> Excuse my voice. I had the bruise on my face for about three weeks. At first it was small and then it kind of extended. Oh, oh my god, look what I just did. So it took around, around uh, two weeks for the bruise to go away. I was completely going crazy. I had to put on makeup every day, which is like a really hard task for me because I just don't see the point in wearing makeup every day because I work with dogs, so I'm always getting dirty and can't be dirty and look pretty at the same time so the piercing now is pretty much healed I just I put makeup on my full face when you first get the makeup I mean the piercing they tell you not to put makeup around it so I was walking around with no makeup around the piercing but I was still wearing makeup so now I just apply my makeup as I would regularly and when you get the piercing they tell you to buy a disinfectant and the one that I got was this. This is Bactine spray and I got this from Rite Aid. It costs $9.29. This is a huge bottle. I still, I still have a lot. I still clean it at nighttime before I go to bed when I take my makeup off. And that's about it. Um, I would say the only thing about the piercing is that with this really poofy hair that the hair sometimes gets stuck around the piercing. I mean, it doesn't like snag it out, but it gets stuck around it and it's like really annoying to have like piece of hair like right here. Ow, see, it gets stuck. But it doesn't hurt. Um, sometimes I bump it, it hurts for a little while, but it doesn't bleed. Um, that's about it. My husband likes to like grab it, dermal. <laughs> But that's about it. I like the piercing. It's really nice. I think it goes awesome with people who wear makeup daily. I mean, it doesn't look like too much out there, like piercing here, piercing here, piercing everywhere in your face. No, it's just just little dermal there. It's like a little sparkle on your face. That's what my daughter thinks it is, uh, like a rhinestone, and that's fine with me because I don't want her to know that it's a piercing. So. Otherwise, the piercing is really awesome. I would recommend it. It's not painful at all, and it's not hard to care for. I mean, it's stuck in your face, so that's about it. I hope I helped you guys. So, when you first get the piercing, you will get a bruise for like about two to three weeks. They tell you to get the vacuum spray. You have to clean your face three times a day. And that's it. It heals up fine hope you guys like and I hope you guys like the video I hope it helped you guys and if you like this makeup look I just actually did a video on it so you can go check it out <laughs>